Hi there, I'm Matt Montgomery. I'm part of the agronomic team here at Bex. Today I'm in a field of corn that's showing just a little bit of what we might call tassel wrap, where we're having a hard time getting the tassel to emerge out of the last of those whorl leaves, and it understandably causes a little bit of concern. Now I want to talk just a little bit about different explanations for why this might happen. I want to talk also, though, about how we might evaluate kind of the long-term trend in this field. What's going to happen with a field that's showing something like this? Now, this is a little bit atypical. Usually, we think about tassels as they emerge, shedding pollen, showing these little anthers more towards the middle part of that main branch rather than popping out at the top here and shedding all that pollen right at the very tip top of that tassel. You can see what I'm talking about here as far as the symptomology goes. You can understand the reasons for concern, explanations for why this might happen, what's the trigger that causes apparently some genetics to do this. You know, some people have talked about, could it be that we hit dry conditions? That doesn't really fit in many parts of the world that we've been in, but you could see how that might be the case. If we had dry conditions, maybe it doesn't allow inner node length to push that tassel out. Some other things that have been thrown out, it could it be, could it possibly be that we're seeing something similar to rapid growth syndrome that we see early in the season and we had a rapid temperature change. I'm not sure that one fits in our part of the world really for an explanation either because we've kind of been uniformly hot for a while. Just a lot of heat at the period of time that the tassel is getting ready to come out can cause that lower part of the tassel not to extend the way we would like for it to. So again, lots of different explanations, a lot of them that don't really feel like they hit the mark as far as explaining why we see this. But at the end of the day, we're seeing this and how do we evaluate if we're gonna wind up missing kernel establishment on these ears, if we're going to mess that up or not. I think one thing to keep in mind is this is probably a multi-visit to the field situation. We probably aren't going to be able to gauge what's going to happen long term with this with just one visit to the field. We're going to want to come out here, look at this initially, probably husk back some of these ears, see if we can shake silks off, figure out if we have a lot of silk falling off the ear, a lot of kernel establishment, or if we have those pockmarked ears. And then I think we're also going to want to come out at least several days later and see if we have more of the tassel actually emerged and what kind of stuff we're seeing on the on the ear right here. Um, some things that I'm noticing or that we have noticed as I've been out here pulling off tassels, looking at it, sometimes it's not taking a whole lot to get those tassels to pop out. Notice here, this is one that we plucked, and because we plucked it, all of a sudden those leaves popped open, those whorl leaves, and now it's actually exposing most of that tassel. The good news that you can kind of see on this one and you can see in some of these pictures that follow is, yeah, we have anthers here shedding pollen on this part of the plant, but look down here. We have about two thirds of the plant, two thirds of that tassel yet to shed pollen. So we're in a really good situation. We haven't blown through all of the pollen. And I think that's actually a really important step for us to consider as we're evaluating these kind of situations. Pull back those whirl leaves, look at that tassel, and do we still have glooms that haven't opened up and actually released those anthers and started shedding that pollen. If we see this kind of situation that you see here where it's real top heavy with anthers, not a lot going on down here, that's a great sign. That means we've still got plenty of pollen, plenty of opportunity to get these silks pollinated. Um, the other thing that I, I would kind of notice is that it does seem like a little bit of wind, sometimes even just a little bit of time are loosening up these and we see some good examples of that in the fields that we've been visiting. You can see, again, a lot of emergence of anthers on the top part of that tassel, where apparently it was wrapped up at one time, but now those leaves have actually kind of loosened up. They're falling over a little bit, opening up that tassel, and you can see much more of that tassel exposed. I think a lot of fields, we have some reason for optimism. But again, we can only really gauge and track what's going to happen with pollination, I think, in these cases, if we do more than one visit. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll talk with you soon.